Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video we'll be taking a look at how you can download, install and set up NPM and Node for the most part on your systems. Now it does not make sense to install NPM because it cannot work without Node. So you know you just cannot have a system which has NPM installed but not Node because NPM internally uses JavaScript which needs Node or at least a Node like runtime environment to be present on the system. So the best way to get started with NPM is to download Node, right? So you can go ahead on nodejs.org. Now hear me out. This is for Windows guys. So if you're on Windows, go ahead on nodejs.org. Download the, uh, you know, the LTS version. Um, if you want, you can download the current one as well. It's mostly bug free, but just don't use it on production, right? Just use the long term stable version on production. So just go ahead and download either one of those. It's a wizard installation. Just follow along with the next, next, next thing and you should be done. For the Linux guys out there, if you're using Mac OS, right? So what you have to do is simply go to your terminal. That is just open your terminal and write brew install node. And uh, I'm assuming here that you have brew, which is a package manager for Mac OS, right? So NPM is a package manager for node. And Brew is a package manager for your whole operating system, right? And Node is a package for your OS, right? It makes sense. So just go ahead and install Brew. Just Google it. It's a simple Ruby script you have to execute in your terminal and it would be available. I won't be covering that. I'm assuming that you have that installed. If you face any problem, just let me know below. Brew install Node would get the Node and set it up for you. Once you do that, it should automatically just link your node as well. But just in case you can run this as well. So when you when you run brew link node, it would actually link the binary to your environment so that you are able to run node just like that. Then if you do node V, you're going to get something like this, right? All right, to my Linux guys out there, what you have to do is you have to install NPM in the most worrying way, the node package manager and the node as well. So what you have to do is first of all, just go ahead and run, oops, I'm already root, so I don't need that. App get update, right? So once you do that, it's just going to update the repository um, so that you fetch the right package. Then what you need to do is just say app get install NPM, right? And yep, I told you that you need node before you install NPM. But if you just directly install NPM using apt-get, it will just go ahead and do that for you automatically. Um, but the but the thing which you have to remember here is that the NPM and node, which is there in the Ubuntu repositories, is not updated, right? So it's very old NPM. So if you're following this video, make sure in any case to follow the next video as well, where I would show you how you can manage node versions using um, a package known as n so in this video we'll just we'll just stick along and install npm and node on linux but just just make sure to watch the next one as one well, just in case and yeah the, i'm just using apt-get but if you're on a distribution like centos or whatever just use that package manager try to figure out the repo for that and well if you're on you know some sophisticated linux then i pretty much believe that you can install node by yourself anyway so that kind of defeats the purpose of me showing you how to install node so yeah let's just wait for it for some time and it should be done soon all right so once you do that you're gonna see that now you have access to node and npm and you i guess they updated their repositories but anyway um i remember the last time i did it it was like i was getting node 7 and npm 4 or 3 here i guess but anyway now this is a pretty decent node version. Node 10 is a decent version, 10.19. But anyway, in the next video, make sure to watch the next video. I'll show you how you can manage the um, versioning of your NPM pack, NPM, uh, versioning of your node system installation itself. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.